Hey, welcome back to the Gilbertson Aero Factory. Today is Tuesday, the 16th of April, 2024. Yesterday, I uh, was able to get the flat braces uh, prepped and ready to go. Today, I was thinking that I would work on the aileron gap fairings, but um, I got a call from Aaron just a little bit ago, and he's actually going to be heading over. So we're going to be able to do all these remaining rivets on both wings, probably. So maybe, maybe even get them off the stands today. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. Um, let's build an airplane. All right, this is a big day. Aaron was able to make it out and we were able to finish up riveting. This is the right wing that we're working on. We had um, the top row or the forward most, most row of rivets where the skin's attached to the main spar. Uh, this went pretty smoothly. Um, there were a couple of rivets, maybe one um, on this one that I ended up uh, drilling out and redoing. Um, these uh, rivets along the spar, they can be a little bit tricky, especially on the inboard half of the wing because of all those nut plates. Um, if you were to look at the spar, <clears throat> uh, those nut plates leave kind of tight clearance to get a bucking bar in there. Um, and on the rivet head, uh, and then it's, it's really funny because when you're rivet, when I'm riveting by myself, um, controlling the bucking bar seems to be easier than riveting with a buddy. And I think it's because of just the motion of, um, there's almost like a clamping sort of action between my two hands coming together. Um, and it's hard to duplicate that or balance it when you're, um, when you're only bucking. I don't have an opposing force. And um, yeah, the bucking bar, um, the bucking bar, I mean, if you watch it, it really does kind of bounce a little bit, which is why there were a couple that I had to, um, a couple that I had to drill out because sort of at the last moment, um, as the pressure was ramping up, it would bounce and kind of walk off of the rivet head and kind of smear it um anyways yeah so that's how that went and and then when we move over to the left wing similarly i think that there were two maybe um that i ended up replacing i think one of them that i replaced was because i messed it up bucking on this day and the other one was just one that uh caught my attention that had been that had been bucked previously and i figured to go ahead and, and uh, get it out of there um <clears throat> But yeah, big day for me because uh, this is episode 116. Um, I think I looked back. Um, I want to say that the 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 day that we the day the video in which I built all the structures or the fixtures in the garage for the wing build was episode 38. So it was 78 episodes to this point of wings. Um, um, this is wings number 40, I think. And then the balance of them were uh, fuel tank, but yeah. So in other words, um, I guess if you exclude, um, building the fixtures, which by the way, was five days, um, it would be 77 days of building on the wings to get them to the point where they can now come back off of the stand and uh that's what's going to happen so up until this point my um uh, the cradle has been living in the entryway to my house so much so that i almost forget that it's there it's been there since last may <laughs> i i did this the first i built this uh stuff the first Ooh, there we go man it's coming down that's this is extremely uh, satisfying. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Like I said, this is these wing stands have been up since the first week of May last year. So I mean, just shy of a year, and yeah, so much room for activities. 
And um, before Aaron came over, um, when I was waiting for him to get there, I modified those uh, wing cradles to fit a little bit better, and that turned out really nicely. So uh, this one sped up much faster because I don't want this video to be like 25 minutes long. Um, on this wing, we owed, it, we owed the entire, um, nearly the entire length of the spar, and then about a third of the rivet, um, or rather along the ribs, had to be done. Again, this went really smoothly, and um, I had so much more light because that other wing is no longer blocking the light coming in um, from outside. So. This went well, like I said, um, drilled out a couple. Aaron's a huge help uh, getting this done. Um, so I feel really fortunate that he was able to make it over today and that he was willing to kind of hang out long enough to finish um, both of these wings. That was a big deal. It ended up being all in about three hours. Um, yeah, about three hours with the cameras rolling to get this all done. Um, we're not, we're not done riveting. So basically what I would do is we would do a whole section of riveting. And then before we go in, like pull the Clicos and do all the leftovers, I went in loaded and taped up all the leftovers so we could do all of those in a single pass. I just brought the wing inside. It's not a windy day, but man, I would feel so bad if it did get windy and something scoop that up i mean obviously that's a device that's made to be affected by wind um what else did i do uh so earlier in the day as i was getting the shop ready for this session um, i pulled out the aileron gap fairings and they are a very simple clean piece so it only took me about 20 minutes to do all the edge finishing and spray a coat of primer and then when we finished this work session this was yesterday last night when we finished this work session i just flipped them over did the other set of primers so that was a little bonus work that i was able to get done yesterday so um which means that now that um the wings are down off the stands um all of the next parts that i need to attach have already been completed and they're ready to go so um that probably I mean, doing things a little bit out of order, I suppose that probably saved me two full days of uh, work, maybe a little bit more, probably about you know, 10 to 16 hours. I'll have to go back and look at it. So I'm stoked about that. There's, I'll be able to get right into that. I know that some of those, um, some of those attachments are going to be tricky because that aft spar is pretty crowded already with a lot of rivets and some funky angles, uh, reinforcement bars, doublers, whatnot. So we'll see uh, how all that goes. So uh, we are finishing up the left wing right here. It's going to come down off of the stand. And um, I would have edited this video last night, which is usually what I do. I usually do it right after the session, but I really wanted to go grab a beer. And so, um, yeah, Aaron and I cruised out and grabbed a bite to eat um, to feel good about ourselves for the cool work that we did. Very satisfying to see these things come down off of the stands. And I'm very happy with how those cradles turned out how well they fit <clears throat> at some point i might go a little more into detail on how i did that but there she is man mobile wings in the shop this is a game changer see ya